This is your Peace FM Regional News. I'm Mark Jones. Yesterday's update on COVID-19 announced 32 new cases in the Northern Health Region, part of a provincial total of 531 new cases announced yesterday. Sadly, province-wide, there was one new COVID-19-related death announced. As of yesterday's update in the Northern Health Region, there were 275 active cases in the region, with 17 people hospitalized and eight of those people in critical care from the Northern Health Region. The statement included these remarks, quote, we are now starting to receive supplies of the AstraZeneca SII Covishield vaccine. This additional vaccine supply will be used to supplement our age-based province-wide immunization program. In particular, we will use this vaccine to assist with outbreak response in communities and within high-risk industries. What is important for all of us to remember is that with every outbreak that is quickly managed and every worker who is immunized, all of us have increased protection with each person who is immunized. It means our friends and loved ones are safer and we are all closer to putting COVID-19 behind us. End quote. The full joint statement is linked on our Peace FM Radio Facebook page. A man from Fort St. John has a heartwarming story to share on being reunited with a school diary from when he was in grade six. This from a story in the Alaska Highway News. Austin Hutton says he wrote the diary over 30 years ago when he was in grade six at a school in St. John, New Brunswick. Thanks to a Facebook post made by his grade six teacher, the diary found its way from mementos that his former grade six teacher, Hugh Britton, had kept in a sealed envelope. It made its way to Mr. Britton's former student from the late 1980s, now living in Fort St. John. That full story from the Alaska Highway News is linked on our Peace FM Radio Facebook page. If you see breaking news, you can contact Peace FM Regional News 24 hours a day by phone at 1-800-788-5330 or by email the address news at peacefm.ca. That was your regional news on Peace FM. It's Thursday, March the 11th for Peace FM. I'm Mark Jones.